Uh, hello YouTube. I'm gonna show you a uh, custom ROM that I just downloaded last night for my Samsung Galaxy S Captivate with AT&T. It's uh, I got it from uh, the XD XDA website, the XDA, XDA developers website. The ROM was uh, called Captivate Hybrid ROM with no touch whiz. So far, I've been pretty satisfied with it. Came with a theme, um, can't think of the name, or uh, application that allows you to change your lock screen. <clears throat> but all in all, it's a hell of a lot better than touch with. Got your standard swipe across same screens. <clears throat> One big difference is the added 3D right here. 3D drawer. So, um, one thing that he did do was you can tell the dialer is different. It said he kept some things like the dialer or like the in call phone settings because they had more options and stuff like that. But everything here is different. It's more like the stock Android than the touch was was lock button that's what it comes with to change your lock screen um let's see messaging's different instead of your normal uh samsung keyboard or just the android keyboard he added the htc mod keyboard I like that, really not my thing, but still, it's there if you want to get used to it. Let's see, I'm trying to think if anything else has changed. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely the whole boot up sequence has changed. Um, drawer here's changed, you see it's transparent there. some of the stuff up here. Got rid of the vibrate and added the GPS to up top. All in all it runs a hell of a lot better than the normal touch whiz. 3G so it's gonna run kind of slow. fully dabbled with everything to really get the most out of it. I know a lot of stuff has changed. So. Really easy to download and, and to install. <coughs> I used uh, <coughs> the Clockwork Mod ROM Manager is what I used to do. My custom installed the ROM. It was really easy. I just rebooted in the recovery and did my thing. But one of the notice most noticeable changes is the on and off the boot up sequence. That's definitely a lot different on the
definitely improved is Media Scanner. Media Scanner runs a hell of a lot quicker now. Instead of having to wait five minutes for it to get done, it gets done pretty damn quickly. Uh, the GPS maps was improved. I don't necessarily know if there was a GPS fix added, but I know that the uh, stock TouchWiz uh, Samsung version of the OS, uh, supposedly it's supposed to store like cache maps to your uh, phone's memory and apparently that fills up pretty quickly and will slow your phone down. And uh, But apparently this guy has turned, uh, turned that feature off. So that's supposed to work a little better. I haven't actually tried it myself. But he kept the gallery. He kept the camera. So the camera and all that still works just the same. He left he left some stuff alone just because it worked good. So all in all I'm really pleased with this uh with this ROM. I don't have any complaints so far. It's a hell of a lot better than touch ones. You actually have some of the normal Android things like the music player for one, which was not on touch with. Anyways, try it out for yourselves, XDA developers. I'll uh, put the link to it in the description of the video. Check it out, try it out for yourselves. I could be very pleased. And uh, maybe if I get bored enough, I'll redo my phone and do a how to video on actually installing the ROM. I'm pretty sure most of y'all know how to do this. This is really my first venture with Android, so, first technical thing I've ever done to it. My body rooted it for me, so I didn't have the pleasure of doing that. And also, it's supposed to have a uh, side loading of apps already enabled. I have not tried it out yet, but I will give that a try here in a few minutes, and uh, I'll post that in the description if side loading is enabled or not. Bye, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it. Rate me good, and I'll see y'all later.